We talk about dominant athletes, we talk about dominant champions, we talk about inspirational athletes, and we talk about inspirational champions. Ladies and gentlemen, Harold Kelly, fresh off now his fourth wheelchair Olympia title. Harold, congratulations. You're halfway to Ronnie Coleman's number. Yeah, halfway there. <laughs> That's a legend. That's a legend. I'm trying to be legendary. Well, you are a legend in your own right now. Four Olympia wheelchair titles. We talked back in 2019 yes, we did. when you had won what was then quote unquote the first class, uh, class, uh, yeah, right, Olympia, but now they've just designated. So all four of your victories right. are now wheelchair Olympia victories. Let's talk about this one right now. Okay. All right, because yeah. we want to talk about just part of what you brought to the stage. What allowed you to clinch your fourth Olympia victory? Well, um, we, uh, my wife and I, which is my team, you know, we, we looked at the pictures and, um, you know, everybody went size and we noticed we was getting bigger and um, we just want to wheel, wheel it back into a little more uh, detail. And um, I saw my 2016 honor win and I liked that one. And um, we focused on uh, wrenching it down a little harder to bring it down to bring more detail out. When you look at the rest of the division, would you say this wheelchair division is going to be a, a show of conditioning? Do you have some some size? I mean, you yourself, you look at the pictures over the last few shows. Yeah, there is somewhat of a pendulum swinging size condition, size condition. Right. What is the ideal look, not only for the for Harold Kelly, but in this wheelchair division? Definitely, you know, bodybuilding this size with conditioning and proportion and balance and, and belly muscles. So you have to consider all those things in the mix of being uh, being that champion and that final look. That's what it should look like, you know? And, you know, I love a lot of the uh, all the pros in the past, all the missing lifts in the past, but I constantly keep my Phil Heath picture up. And that's, that's the look I'm looking for. So that's your guy, Phil Heath. That's oh, yeah. Uh, ain't no question. Um, and I love all the other guys. I mean, from right. Sean to Kai to to uh, Ronnie to um, to Lee Haney. You know, when I'm growing up, I used to watch Lee Haney on TV. He's come on TV. And uh, so I love those guys. But right now, in my mix, and when I look at my structure, uh, what's as closest to is Phil, and that's the balance that I'm looking at. Well, Belly thing, muscles and, right. and that balance. And knockout shots, right? When we talk about Phil Heath, we talk about some of those knockout shots when, when he goes knockout so you want to exactly. y'all like, move him aside and let's see who's second to ten. Right, 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 right. When you look at in terms of your signature pose, your signature, the look that you look to deliver on the stage in terms of that wow factor, in terms of what's kept you separated at the top of this division, what would those things be? Um I look at saying my that's my balance. Now what Weinberger looks at, I don't know, but <laughs> Me, I see. I think my balance is more so, and I focus on my balance. I don't want one part outshining the other. So I look at my shoulders, my arm, my tricep, my bicep, my chest, my back. Make sure everything is balanced. Nothing that tries, even the traps. Make sure nothing is missing, and make sure nothing is standing out more than another one. Talk to us about your training, your diet, as you're looking to bring that kind of a refined look. What are some of the adjustments that you've had to make coming into this Olympia weekend? Some muscle muscle parts grow faster than the other ones and some you have to work on a little more. At the same time, you still gotta work on that one too. Um, so, you know, I focus on the, my, my cap muscles, my cap shoulders are a little more real deep. Real delts always first. I never do front delts um, because it's dominant if, if you let it be. Um, triceps, bring that out a little more. They'll have more well-rounded arm. Chest, my chest plate is good. I, I'm gonna do too much more on my chest plate. I bench heavy, my heaviest bench was like 5'10", 520. So I don't really focus a lot on heavy bench, just the heavy dumbbells. And back, I love my back. My back is my signature, so I really, I got I, it. was better at one point, and I saw myself slacking off a little bit, and I'm getting back to it again. So I really want to focus on all the detail stuff in my back because there's so many different compartments for your back. When you look at your physique in terms of the direction that your physique wants to go in, the, the direction your physique wants to grow in, what look are you looking to build on as you've now accumulated four Olympia titles? And again, I got to go back to the field here. That's the look. I mean, you just, that's the look. If you wonder why I'm keep getting more muscle, you put round, in round, round, belly muscle, round. round muscle, pop muscle, the wild muscle, the wild effect. Um, even though I need to, I need to bring my, 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 how you say, my, that sharpness and that, that graininess a little more. Yeah. 
some people just don't have the grainy skin. Some people have too thick skin. You know, so me being grainy is 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 is, is a little hard for me. I don't really chase it because I think my belly muscles and that that look that that pretty smooth look. I think the judges like that. And I talked to them about it, and they're like, don't worry about being something you're not. Some people are grainy because they're grainy, you know, where you have a, a pleasant look. So keep that pleasant look. What's next? Do you look ahead and say to yourself, all right, I have next year's Olympia circled. Are there any other shows in the middle? Uh, we just got news that the uh, Arnold is going to have the wheelchair class next year in March. So after I talked to my team, my wife, um, to see if we'd be able to pull that off and um, do, the, do that one. Yeah, that, that, that's big news, and, and that's kind of where I wanted to go next because yeah. this is now the fourth year for this division here at the Olympia. What kind of a reception do you feel that has progressed, not only amongst the Olympia crowd, the Olympia uh, organizers, but bodybuilding world in general? Yeah, the bodybuilding world now is seeing more of us, and they accept more of us, and they want more of us there. I mean, they really recognize the true inspiration that they call it, you know. Because a lot of people say, you know, the inspiration, that word has been bounced around a little too often. But when you bring it back to the wheelchair class, that, that's 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 it right there, you know. Because of the, all, the, all the elements that we have to deal with and, and getting ourselves together and, and get to the point to where as you're Olympian and, and maximizing the muscle development for us in a wheelchair. You, you know what I thought was a really cool moment uh, earlier this weekend during the Olympia press conference. They had you on stage. You know, one thing that I, and I love that because you got to have that kind of FaceTime with the crowd and that kind of a prime time moment. I'm interested in knowing when you look at other athletes who are facing their own challenges, what kind of interactions have you had with them and what are some of the things that you've been able to impart upon them? You mean the other athletes that, 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 that are actually is trying to become bodybuilders and whatnot? You know, they, they always give me good feedback in regards to how I inspire them without me knowing. And a lot of them will just come to me and be like, hell, what do you do for this right here? Because evidently you're doing something good. And that, that you in a wheelchair, just appear. You're just doing something good for that body part. What do I need to be doing? You know, um, able body, one, the one my love right. on that part. So this is giving them true information in regards to what I'm doing for that. And they'll do able body doing what I'm doing. Talk to us about uh, the job that uh, Nick Scott has done, this entire committee has done to give you and your fellow wheelchair athletes the exposure that you all deserve? Man, uh, all the way to the top with, uh, with Jim Menion and the IFBB and NPC, um, even uh, you know with Nick, pushing the sport or really uh, head spearing the sport into this right here to a mainstream because you know Nick worked hard in getting it where it's at right now. We all know this. And, the acceptance that all the promoters and everybody they wanted it and they accepted it and they putting it forth so they don't just look at it as all oh, the guys in the wheelchair the handicap cat guys let them do something no they look at it as a, as a solid force or uh, a, a true division that you know that's needed and it's um how can i say it? it's you can see that you can see the, the quality of, of guys that we have across the world that's representing the wheelchair class not only myself you know from gabe you know and anthony um, um, Antonio, you know, these guys coming out and they represent, it's a lot more out there. And I urge them to get into this league so they can represent also, because there are other leagues too that they're in that they need to come over to the IFBB and represent at the world, at the world finest. Yeah. I want you to look into that camera because, you know, the RX Muscle community, I know we had you on a couple of times uh, after your big victories and the reception has always been resounding. They love you, they love what you stand for, what this division stands for. I want you to give a message to your fans out there in the RX Muscle community. Man, I appreciate and we appreciate each and every one of you for your support, for, you know, uplifting the wheelchair class and, and you know, giving feedback and liking and, and promoting it and tagging. We really appreciate that, y'all y'all support because without you all, we wouldn't even be here. So we want to say thank you and honor you and we love you. A legend. An inspirational legend right here, Harold King Kong Kelly, now four-time wheelchair Olympia champion. Harold, congratulations, continued success, and as always, thank you for the time. Thank you for having me on, and thank you guys.